Hello and welcome to Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads. Happy New Year 2018. I hope the Christmas was well spent and that the new year has begun on a positive note. Today for Meaningful 5 Minutes, we will not be continuing with what we have been doing, neither will we be following up with what we are to do. This is just an opportunity for us to say Happy New Year from Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads. You know, we cannot just wish ourselves Happy New Year and end at that. We must have a small sharing from the Word of God. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for the testimonies, for the support, for the encouragement, for the comments. We also like to thank those who took the pains to share their testimonies. I remember what really touched me was the testimony of a brother who said his wife had the problems, she, had the, she was suffering from insomnia, and just by listening to meaningful five minutes, somebody who had been able to sleep, unable to sleep for long periods of time, just found herself sleeping. Hallelujah. Indeed, it has nothing to do with mommy reads. I'm just a servant. I'm just a vessel. In effect, it is to encourage, as usual, those out there who are minimizing their gifts to go out and make a move. Because you never know who will be blessed by that small effort, by sweeping the church, by, you know, just... Being there, you can get your blessing by sweeping the church. If your angel comes, some people are gotten jobs, some people are gotten spouses, just by being in their place of service, just by sweeping the church. Hallelujah. And so today, we will just be wishing ourselves Happy New Year, as I said. We are aware that you we could have made uh, several resolutions. I, was, I want to stop doing this. I would like to start doing that. And we also have tags for the year. The year of favor, the year of open doors, the year of breakthrough, the year of this and that. But I want us to understand today on Meaningful 5 Minutes. As I said, if it touches you, it touches me as well. On Meaningful 5 Minutes today, we'll be talking about something very significant. Something that will enable us to be able to accomplish our goals for the year, to be able to live up to the themes or the tasks of the year. And that thing is nothing but the fear of God. Hallelujah. And we know that fear, the fear of God is striving to please him in all that we do in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions, everything. Doing what we know that God expects of us, whether or not the world is appreciating or noticing, but just doing what God expects of us. And you know, our first passage is Proverbs chapter Nine verse ten, which says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, and we need wisdom to plan for the year, to make our projects for the year, to make our, in fact, to do everything that we are supposed to do. We need wisdom, and so we should fear God. We should, we should, you know, live a life that is pleasing to Him, so that He will give us wisdom to make plans properly. Hallelujah. And our next passage is Isaiah thirty-three verse six, which says the fear of God is His treasure. You can imagine in God's treasure box. That's where you have all the gems, all the reds, all the, 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 the you know, jewelries, all the, the pearls that you'll be looking for. All the good health, the blessings, the marriage, the children, the jobs, the promotion, academic excellence, and what have you are in the treasure, treasure box of God. So fear God, and he will give you his treasures. Hallelujah. And the next is uh, from Proverbs 8, 13, the fear of God will cause us to hate evil. And if you hate evil, you will live right, you will live a sin-free life, and of course, you will attract the blessings of God. Hallelujah. And then the next is, the fear of God causes him to confide in us. And that is from Psalms 25, verse 4. You can imagine being God's confidence. It's a very wonderful experience. God who is all-knowing, who has, you know, the final say in every matter, being able to confide in us. In effect, that is a wonderful thing for 2018. Hallelujah. And then the next is the fear of God brings us humility. And that is from Proverbs 22, verse 4. We had mentioned the humility, the virtues of humility earlier on in meaningful five minutes from Mommy Reads. And so if the fear of God promotes humility, remember God gives grace to the humble. So in effect, if you fear God, you are you become humble and you attract God's grace into your life. Hallelujah. And the last but not the least is from Proverbs 10 verse 27. The fear of God triggers long life. Hallelujah. And it's not just long life of ailments, of difficulties, of challenges. It's 
long life of fulfillment, of stability, of establishment, of upliftment, of all the good things that you can think of. Hallelujah. And so we should strive, we should make an effort to fear God so that all these things will be made manifest in our lives. The plans that didn't work in 2017, don't be discouraged. God is writing a new story for you. You can like, you can share, you can comment. Happy New Year 2018 and stay glued to Mommy Meets. The Bible is the road, Jesus is the code, sin is the obstacle, and heaven is the destination. Shalom, good people.